Well, it took all of six seconds for the opening goal, but here we are, guys. Let me just make sure everything is rolling all right on my end. Uh, let's close this. I don't have that eating anything, and we, sh we should be good. Here we are. Uh, still week one, everyone. It is still week one here. Uh, still technically our openers. We have Raging Reapers versus Underdog RLC. Uh, both major teams here. We saw Underdog RLC challengers playing uh, last night. So four Raging Reapers here. We're going to see Green Gajaku, their exception pick that was picked up to replace CPL Chunky. Uh, Grim Jow also known as Gobeg and BLT Enthusiast. Uh, and then for Underdog RLC, we are gonna have Kanaki, King James, and Pirio, which is the team captain. Let's see. Ooh, James with a great shot there, gets a goal. Finally, Underdog RLC able to answer, answer back against Raging Reapers here. And before we get too deep into this set, Go ahead and give us a like, follow, and subscribe on YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. It, it means a lot. It goes a long way towards helping promote and grow the league. And I'm actually going to have to get a stream link together here in a minute. Maybe I can get it posted for my phone. Regardless, I have very high expectations for both of these teams. And I'm actually very happy to see that we've seen... We see some points put on the board so far. Both teams able to get some scoring going. All right, one second, guys. I'm just trying to get this. And as I'm trying to get this, BLT Enthusiast is going to get the goal off of a pass from Grim. Grim just a little pop up, and BLT just sends it flying across the field before anyone else can get to the ball. Alrighty, everything should be set now. Let's see. BLT had an opportunity and another shot there. It is going to get cleared away here. Underdog RLC, it looks like they are going to get a goal here. Great goal by Kanaki. Actually sends it up off the ceiling. Pirio accredited with the assist here as he's the one who cleared the ball out. Kanaki went in the challenge and his shot goes in beautifully here. James with a pass to Kanaki. Good pass. Ball sent towards center field. Green Gajaku's going to clear it away here. James looking to field it. James trying to clear it out. Is able to get it past one, maybe two. Ball floating up in the air. And look at Grim right here. Bringing some pressure against underdogs. Ooh, that a good clear out by BLT. That could have been disastrous for them here. And definitely a bit of a change of pace from last night's sets. As last night's sets, I don't know if you guys remember, but all of them were fairly either one-sided or low scoring. Pirio able to get the goal here to tie the game with just about two minutes left to play. It was Kanaki with the technical save there as he went up and challenged it. Ball goes straight down. Pirio turns it into a long goal. And game is tied now. Ball up in the air here. See if he can get something going. Ball 
Wall could potentially still be in play here. No. Is going to get cleared away. Pirio looking to set the ball. Is able to. It's a little wide, though. James not able to make a play that he needed to there. Pirio is back to keep the ball in the play, though. It's floating up high. Pirio, beautiful center. with the demo on James. Ball is up against Underdog right now. Tanaki going to be able to clear it away. Green going up. Nice touch here. And maybe maybe some serious pressure. Ball set. BLT shot. It's no good. So close. Beautiful pass from Grimm. Now Green looking to center of the ball. Oh my goodness. Another great pass to Grimm. This one not going to connect though. BLT takes a shot saved by James here. Oh, ho, ho. Kanaki able to get the goal here. Uh, I'm not sure who it was. Was it Grim or was it? It was Grim, I think. I don't know if Grim and Green Gujaki were trying to pinch cleared away or what, and they just didn't make contact. But Grim kind of ends up own going there with just 12 seconds left on the clock, and that's probably going to cost his team game one. Pirio going to clear that ball away. Green's got the ball in play. It could be set. No. Nope. Game one going to underdogs. Great game by them. And they were able to pull it off here. You know, just in the nick of time. They had a little help there by Grimm as he had a little bit of a mistouch. Uh, but, you know, still get the W. Game was already tied. So let's see if they can take the momentum into game two. And when we talk about stat lines, okay, both teams right now have loaded stat lines, all right? Loaded. Just between BLT and Grimm, there's 11 shots, okay? Just between those two. It's 11 shots. Then you add in Green Gajaka, there's 13. Uh, but then on the other end, you know, eight shots for Underdog RLC. And they definitely kind of show that you don't need to take 11 shots to win. You need to be efficient to win. You know, two of three, uh, one of one. They do have the one of four for James. But, I mean, somebody's got to take your shots, right? So we're getting ready here to go into game two. Go ahead and give us a like, follow, and subscribe on YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. It goes a long way to help us promote and grow Cleedy Studios leagues and other projects. So if you want to help grow the CSRL or show support for one of our other projects, such as our Discord games, uh, any of that, uh, give us a like, follow, and subscribe on YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. And it looks like Green Gujaku is going to swap out here in game two. Uh, and Raging Reapers are going to put in affected potato here. Let's see how much of a difference this makes for Raging Reapers. Potato had some really good prospect games. He was very active. You see the pass back there from Pirio to James. James turns into a shot, but it's saved by Grim. But yeah, Potato was very active uh, throughout the whole prospect process. Played very well. Definitely deserved a spot on his team. We see him with a great pass there to Grim. Grim shot just a bit too much to the left. And now look at Kanaki able to pop the ball up to James. James going to turn it into a shot. Grim is there for the save, though. Great offensive teamwork coming out from Underdog RLC. Oh, Grim almost with a great shot there. Pirio is going to get the save ultimately there. Good touch there by Grim. Keep the ball away from, from the field of play here. BLT gets just enough of a touch to send it against Underdog RLC right now. Here comes Kanaki off the wall, looking for a shot, looking to set the ball perhaps. No good. Uh, Grim going to clear it away, goes straight into BLT's possession. BLT gets 50 by Pirio. Pirio wins the 50, now bringing pressure against them, but 
Grim is back to field the ball. Grim able to get past one. Pirio going up. Pirio taking a shot. No good. BLT is going to get the save, but at the same time, he gets demoed by Pirio. BLT with a long shot. It's good. Off the respawn, gets a, get, able to get the goal to take the lead with about three minutes left to play. Respawns, comes out, and immediately gets his touch. There's the goal. Give me the lead. That's what he said. And here comes Potato off the wall. No, it is going to lose possession now. Oh, Graham able to get a goal here. Uh, it was all him this time around, I believe. Had full possession, takes it from across the field into a long shot. There's his little, little extra flick there. Easy goal for him. He made it look very easy, in fact. And now, Raging Reapers up 2-0 in game two. They'd love to tie this set. They could be looking at another goal here. Grim looking to set the ball. I'm not sure what kind of touch he's going for here. It is going to go in his team's favor. And now BLT able to center the ball. It's got too much momentum behind it, though. It is going to end up moving out of the field of play. BLT trying to get something going for a shot, though. Now going to have to take it off the wall. Kanaki going to beat him to the ball, though. Going to try to take a shot of his own. BLT was there to field it. Uh, Pirio gets the demo on Potato, though. Ball floating up into the air here. Kanaki looking for something. BLT with a touch sends it across the field. If Grimm is going for a pass or just a shot, but that would add in the makings of an epic play. Pressure going against Raging Reapers now. There's the fast from Pirio to James. They, James is unable to connect. Missing out an opportunity to goal, and Potato is going to get a goal here. A very fast break goal. And right now, Raging Reapers is up 3-0 here in game two. They are down 1-0 on the set. James trying to get possession. Ooh, pressure could be against. Ooh, good touch there by James. Able to get a goal to put our underdog RLC on the board here late in the game with just about a minute left to play. BLT with a nice shot there, but Pirio is going to get the save. Not having any of that. James sets the ball wide. Kanaki with a shot. James going to take the feed and get the goal here. And he is coming super clutch for his team here within the last, what, say minute or so, minute and a half or so. Getting both the goals when they needed it. And now they're only down by one with just 44 seconds left. And on the other end, Raging Reapers, again, potentially choking their win. Or choking their lead, I should say. BLT almost able to score off a kickoff. Kanaki is back for the save. He gets the demo on Potato. Potato is going to be able to clear the ball all the way out against them. Pirio is going to feed it with, or field it with just under 30 seconds to play now. Ooh, that was a scary touch by Pirio. He could have ended up own going there. He passes to Kanaki. 
Kanaki takes the feed, sets it off the wall. James is going to come bang it off the wall here. Grim going to break it up. Sends it on a pass to BLT. BLT unable to make contact here. Pirio might have one opportunity at this. Ball's going to come off the wall. Kanaki looking to set it. One second. Nope. Game two goes to the Raging Reapers, and they tie the set one-to-one. -one. Uh, give me just one second, guys. Go ahead and give us a like, follow, and subscribe. I'm just going to throw my laundry in one second. So sorry about that, guys. I am back here in game three, set tied one to one, Raging Reapers versus Underdog RLC. And just as I get back, King James able to get the goal here to put Underdog RLC up first in this set, or er, in game three. And what a goal by him. Look at Grim here, trying to clear the ball out, isn't able to. Let's see if Underdog can try to turn it into a goal. A lot of people whiffing right now, but Grim might be able to turn it into a goal. In fact, he does, able to tie the game with still under a minute to play. Both teams have been able to put a goal up. They've now tied the game one to one. The set's tied one to one. Let's see how this is going to turn out here. And see, it does look like Potato is still in for the game here. And a lot of pressure against Underdog RLC right now. James is going to get a save here. James seems to be the guy for them in this set. And BLT able to get a goal here. I think Pirio did help him a little bit here. Let's see. Yeah, I believe BLT was going to get that either way. Pirio came in hot, tried to break it up. Just did not go his way, unfortunately. Now, if I'm underdog, how are you going to respond? Uh, I feel like Raging Reapers has kind of come out. And after last game, they kind of swing a lot on you. It was close, but you kind of got to feel like they have the momentum in the set right now.
Good touch there by Kanaki. Takes it off the corner of the wall. Kanaki sent that flying. Gets past one. Grim's going to have a wide open goal, perhaps. Pirio does get there for the save. Grim is trying to be patient to get past the entire defense, but Pirio is having none of it. Potato is there to field this, perhaps. Got to get it past Kanaki. Is able to push the ball beautifully for BLT, but it looks like James is going to get the touch on the ball. <sighs> Potato sends it up high. Graham looking to center the ball beautifully here. James looking to clear it out. Might have a goal of his own. Good touch there by BLT to break up the pass or break up the shot. Able to get a good demo there, Imperio. Not going to allow him to be in the field of play here. Now Grim has possession. He's got two people to beat here. Imperio is back to get the save. Kanaki with a touch. He's got to get past one. BLT able to clear the way, clear the ball away beautifully here. And James is kind of getting monkeyed in the middle a little bit right there. Now look at Potato. Look at Potato trying to set. No, no good there. Kanaki is going to field it. Gets 50 and loses possession of the ball. James is back. He's trying to drive. He gets challenged. Ball still against underdog RLC right now. And there's the shot. Potato able to capitalize off of a pass from BLT. And Raging Reapers now jumps out to a 3-1 lead with just about 38 seconds left in game three. And Kataki tried to anticipate that shot right there. We had a little bit too much momentum behind him. And he ends up jumping out. And, and Potato puts the ball right behind him. And now Pirio taking the feed off of kickoff here. Going to try to set it off the wall, but Potato is back. Takes possession. Tries to clear it out. Gets challenged by Kanaki. Now Grim's going to have to clear it out here. Grim with a pass to BLT, perhaps. BLT takes the shot, but it's off the top of the crossbar. Kanaki has possession, trying to clear it away. Potato is going to steal it. Tries to take it off the wall, but James is going to turn into a shot. Beautiful steal there with just 11 seconds left. James has literally been the player... The entire offense, it would seem, for underdog RLC, if we just talk about from a scoring standpoint. Obviously, they, they wouldn't be in the, the situation they're in if it wasn't for their, their other teammates contributing as well. But from a pure scoring standpoint, I want to say James has scored everything for underdog RLC. And here we see Grimm with the goal off of kickoff here. Potato and James are going to 50. Ball's going to roll. Grimm takes the wide open goal. And Raging Reapers put this out of reach here with just about eight seconds left to play in game three. And now here comes Potato off the wall. We see BLT with the demo on James. Grimm's going to try to turn it a shot, sends it onto the ground, and that's going to wrap up game three here with Raging Reapers jumping out to a 2 1 lead. They're going to be the first team to have an opportunity to put this away now. After opening up the series 1-0, they've won the past two games. Now let's see if they can win this third one and end our opening set. And then just as a heads up, I do have another set coming in at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It should be... Uh, it should be... Rage... Uh, Vibrant Tigers versus Screaming Eagles. There we go. And then go ahead and give me a like, follow, and subscribe, guys. Uh, as we wait for this next game to start, let me just go ahead and make sure everybody is good to go. Uh, I'm going to see if they can delay the 10 p.m. set by five minutes or so just to make sure that I'm able to stream it. 
just one second, guys. Alright, I have popped the question here uh, to see if the 10 BM set can be delayed just enough. And as I say that, Green Gujaku gets a very long goal here. Good good clear out by Pirio. He sets it off the wall and Gujaku is just going to be the first one to the ball here. And just bangs it across the field. It still had 53 miles behind it at that distance. And that's just within the first 30 seconds. Raging Reaper has been able to strike first. Let's see if they can keep this momentum going and perhaps close out this set with a 3-1-W. Give me just one second, everyone. I will be right back on the mic before the set is over. What a save by Potato. My goodness, what a save by Potato.
All right, everyone, I am back just in time as there's about 20 seconds left to play here in game four. And as it would happen, Underdog RLC has managed to come back in this in this game. I wouldn't say it come back in this game. They've managed to come back in this set now, and they'll be tying it here. As we go into game five. And you know, this is all I could ask for from an opening set. Really, any I wish the other two sets yesterday had this kind of kind of uh, outcome, so to speak, because game five, here we go. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, the first game last uh, yesterday was a three-zero sweep, and then the second game was a three-one uh, win. Uh, but now we're getting the full game five. You know. This is, this is what I like to see. Two balanced teams swinging. And honestly, neither of these teams are playing at their true peak right here, okay? We see Raging Reapers definitely rotating players. I don't believe we've seen Underdog RLC make any rotations so far. But uh, Underdog RLC is without Umer right now, who's definitely their, their you know, their first, their, their, their top pick kind of kind of pressure player. That's who they want. And then for Raging Reapers... They're without their, their you know, all-star captain in uh, the real gamer. So we'll see here, uh, you know, both of these teams could just ultimately, they could play better. They're both playing phenomenal right now. They're playing like, like, like they could be championship major teams, perhaps. And what's scary is they're going to get better. Although, to be fair for Raging Reapers, while I do say that, uh, the rotations that they've had going, it just it makes you feel like it doesn't matter. As long as one, as long as they have three players from their roster, they can win games. That's what that's what I'm feeling right now. Potato with a long shot. It's a bit high. Kanaki looking to set the ball. Set it a little too tight. It's not going to stop James from taking a shot though. Potato is going to get the save. And, you know, Kanaki and James, also two really good prospects here, but Green Kajaku able to get the goal here, just as I was saying that, with just under four minutes to play. A minute, just over a minute played, is what I should have said. But yeah, James and Kanaki, both, uh, you know, very solid prospects. They were active, they were around. Uh, and I think so far, They've, they've, they've given you exactly what you expected slash wanted from them. Minus, you know, some mishaps here or there. You, you would like, you know, maybe not to have come back in the set. Maybe to have been leading the set. But regardless, if you win, a win's a win. It doesn't matter. Good shot there by BLT, though. Able to get past both Piria and Kanaki. But, yeah, both of them have been playing up to the hype. And, I mean, BLT... Uh, kind of fell down there in the draft, got taken late, and he's been a huge steal for his team. And then we see, you know, Potato. Potato's been solid for his team as well. And Green Gujaku being the exception pick to replace CLP Chunky, or CPL Chunky. And Chunky was BLT with another goal here. Green Reapers up 3 0 here with just, you know, a minute and a half played. They're basically scoring a goal right now every 30 seconds. Yeah, Green Gujaku uh, just filling in, so to speak. Uh, he wasn't drafted. He didn't have prospect games. Uh, CPL Chunky, unfortunately, wasn't willing to, able to play something along those lines. I'm not going to get into specifics because I'm not too sure. But uh, basically, he's turned into an exception pick where the team captain can pick somebody from outside of the league that is equal to or lower than ranking. Uh, to replace him and they'll just inherit his uh, salary his contract etc etc and Green Yujaku was that player and now CPL Chunky came in at GC1 all right and I don't believe Yujaku's at GC1 but you you really feel like you know it was a really good pick 
He showed up immediately, and my goodness, BLT with another goal here. It is 4-0 for Raging Reapers. They are blowing out game five here right now. Underdog RLC is looking for some kind of answer, but they have nothing. There's the 50. BLT looking to take it off the wall. Looking to pass. Gets the pass to Green Kajaku. He turns it into a shot. Hey, BLT actually got the shot for it. Great attempt at a pass, though. Look at Green Gajaku here. He does get the goal, and my goodness. Raging Reaper's up 5-0 right now. Two minutes and 14 seconds left to play. I am not sure what is going on for Underdog RLC here in Game 5. But uh, it's all falling apart for them right now. Let's see if they can get something going here. And Potato, my goodness. My goodness. I'm speechless. I'm genuinely speechless. Okay. So. It is 6-0 to oh in game 5. With less than 2 minutes to play. Good save there by Kanaki. My goodness. <clears throat> My goodness, Raging Reapers. This is one way to send a message. BLT looking for a shot. It's no good, though. A little too high left. <clears throat> you know, Underdog RLC kept it close. All set. But now here in Game 5, Raging Reapers is making it clear. They're sending their, their message, you know. We are the team to beat. We're going to fight you the entire set if we have to to get this W. And then even, even if you do manage to take us to game five, we're going to still come at you like with everything. I mean, they're throwing the kitchen sink right now. BLT almost able to get another goal here. Kanaki with it. A great clear out. Now maybe has a shot. Does have a shot. No. Saved by Green Gajaku. Almost had the goal there. Ball centered. Potato looking to clear it away. And now Underdog RLC able to get some pressure against Raging Reapers. But it looks like too soon with just about 30 seconds left to play now. And BLT looking for a chance at a goal here. And James looking to clear the ball away. Pirio with a shot. It's good. Of a pass from James. James sets it off the wall here. Pirio is going to turn the shot into a goal. And there is 18 seconds left. Usually I'd be talking about how, you know, it's possible. They could still maybe get a goal here. They're down by five goals. Or they can still maybe come back. But they're down by five goals. There's 18 seconds left. They're not coming back. Let's be real. They're not coming back. If anything, right now, all, all Underdog RLC can hope for is to get a quick goal or something, any kind of offensive score, to get some momentum for your next set. But I'm, I'm speechless, man. What what plays, what effort, what's showing here from Raging, Raging Reapers here in Game 5. They're able to get the dub. They fight for it. They come out hard. They come out swinging. That's what you like to see. And then for Underdog RLC, you know, it's not that big of a deal. You didn't have your true star player there. Uh, you know, you you gave it, you guys gave it your all. You played hard, and you took them to game five. Okay, that there's a lot to be said for that. You took them to game five. It wasn't like they easily swept you, even though they did get that 6-1 win in game in the game five. They had, like, it, this was the only game where that was this that much of a serious lead. So, that's going to wrap up. 
the Raging Reapers versus, versus Underdog RLC Week 1 matchup here. Uh, I do have another stream that's about to pop up literally in the next 3 to 5 minutes as I take the stream down, uh, confirm some things, and get the new information set up. I will have Screaming Eagles versus Vibrant Tigers, both challenger teams. So do tune in for that. If you guys want to see another set, it'll be in the next 3 to 5 minutes. I just got to swap the streams over. I will see you all then, and if I do not, enjoy your night, and give us a like, follow, and subscribe on YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter.